So today we're talking about cover competition as well as commercial print competition because they do overlap a little bit, especially with the rules. Hi Meg. So we're gonna get started. And if you have, thank you. If you have a question, just let me know and I'll try to answer as I go. Okay, so we're gonna start off with cover competition. So I'll just go over the rules a little bit and describe the competition. So the cover competition is an opportunity for contestants to showcase their potential to appear on a magazine cover. So think anything you see in stores when you pass the magazines, uh, Vogue, Elle, there's kids ones as well. Oh no, holiday in Quebec. Well, I hope you get a long weekend soon. Okay, just switch to commercial print from TV commercial. Okay, so again, this one's more about print. So we'll go over it. We'll go over the competition. So it is quite different than TV commercial, but okay. So again, cover competition is an opportunity to showcase your magazine cover potential. So again, um, both models and talent can enter this competition, but it is geared towards those who are very interested in fashion and the high fashion side of things. Okay, and I'll go over what you need for this competition. So contestants can submit one image that they believe has cover potential, um, and then the reps who are judging this competition, and this is one of the key differences between cover and commercial print competition at CMTC, these reps that are judging are modeling reps. So they're interested in models. They don't necessarily work with talent. And again, there's a differences a lot of the time too between a commercial modeling agency or the high fashion modeling agencies that we work with. Again, they do overlap. You'll often see high fashion models working commercial and vice versa. Um, so I just want to be clear on the difference there and I'll go over the differences um, between these two competitions a little more as we get into it. But right now we're talking about cover competition. So for this competition, you submit one image through our contestant hub. So again, this competition takes place before you get to CMPC and is sent to the reps for judging before CMTC. So it's a really great opportunity to get exposure before you even get to convention. So here are the rules. It's open to contestants of all ages. I think Megan's answering some questions there. Um, thanks, Megan. So co cover competition rules. The cover competition is open to contestants of all ages. So again, we send to reps that work with all ages and the modeling side of things for this competition. The, again, more high fashion, but again, they do overlap, especially for children, commercial print and cover. Um, they do overlap a little bit as far as the reps who represent them. Okay, contestants must submit one photo showcasing their magazine cover potential. The photo may be in color or black and white. And again, you have to submit through the cover competition form found on the contestant hub before or on April 1st, 2023. It is okay if you submit by 11.59 on April 1st, as long as it's submitted before April 2nd, that's fine. Um, from there, our team will look through and see and make sure that you are in fact registered for cover competition. Um, if you're not registered and you submit, we will, we will give you the opportunity to add the competition. However, if you're not sure if you're in cover competition, just reach out to our team and double check and we'll let you know. But again, we do go through and make sure that everybody who is submitted into this competition is actually in cover competition. Okay. So any questions about that so far? Can you use the same photo you used for the program book for any of the competitions? Absolutely. Great question. And we've often had people do that, so that's fine. Okay. So my tips for you for this competition is ensure your face can be seen. So that's again, very important. It's important for you as the contestant to get the exposure. They want to see your face, these reps. They wanna be able to recognize you when they see your photo that you've submitted online and then see you at CMTC. So make sure that your face is in the photo. That's very important. I always recommend to make eye contact. However, we have had contestants um, submit photos and actually place in the competition who aren't necessarily making eye contact, but th then that in that case their body language, so their photo movement is really strong in the photo as well. And again, if you want some examples of this, just check out like Vogue, Elle, all those major magazines. Even if you're a child, it'll give you a bit of a better idea um, as to what a cover photo might look like. 
okay? And age appropriate is, is really important too. So even if you're a child, um, we do often recommend smiling. However, it is not necessary. Um, and again, I've actually posted some photos of our contestants who placed. So far I've posted four to seven, eight to 11, um, 12 to 15, and 16 to 19. Um, both females in the last two divisions and i'm going to post the rest of the divisions as well of those who placed last year so they are versatile it depends on the reps who are judging the ones that um, place so there's no rules that you have to look at the camera but take kind of what you think would be a good cover image based on um, again what you see in magazines what you see on covers and we also have our pinterest board and have again posted people who have placed in the years previously is it the same cover print or as commercial print? No, so there are two different competitions. Cover competition, again, is all about magazine potential, your photos, you're not necessarily selling a product, you're really just going with your personal image and um, submitting that versus, or a more creative image versus commercial print, which the point of commercial print is selling a product, selling a service. A big key that we always talk about on our end of things is commercial print is often more approachable, more smiley, and cover is often more um, artistic. So definitely take creative liberty um, for cover, com cover versus commercial print, where you might, again, be focusing on selling a blazer, selling um, a product. Some people I'll get into commercial print in a second, the difference, but that's a good question because they are often confused because there is such an overlap. Okay, but for our purposes, again, it is about also the reps that are taking a look at these photos. So cover, we often send them, or we do send for judging, um, the reps that are working more with models or solely high fashion, depending on the age category. And then for, cover or commercial print competition we're sending to reps who work with commercial models full body or close up that's a great question that leads me into more of the rules so um there isn't necessarily a, a rule whether it needs to be close up or full body so that's up to you however we do recommend that again you can see your face especially if you're doing a full body that you're still still making sure that your face is strong in the image and then going down from there. So what we often say is cover your eyes, see how your mouth looks, cover your mouth, see how your eyes look, and then from there, take a look at your body language in the photo. But again, no rules in, in that regard, whether it needs to be full body or um, close up. And again, if you take a look at some magazines, you'll see a kind of a variety of both. Should it be natural or with some makeup? So again, as long as it's age appropriate, for cover you can get a little more creative if you want it to be a little more editorial. Um, then of course you can do makeup, you can do your hair, any way you see fit. Commercial print, we do recommend it being uh, a little more natural. However, again, that depends on the product you're trying to sell or the service you're trying to sell. Um, and I'll get more into commercial print in a second, um, but you, as long as, again, that the reps who are seeing these images can tell at CMTC it's you, that's pretty important um, for CMTC's purposes and for you wanting um, to maybe gain representation from someone, you do want to make sure that they see you and recognize you as you for these images. However, before we submit um, to the reps, we make sure that um, it's not names that are submitted with the photos, it's your contestant number. So if they're interested in you and they've seen your cover image, for example, they might circle or make a note of your contestant number and then they'll keep an eye on you at CMTC if they're interested. Okay, I see some commercial print images or questions coming through and I will get into those in a second. I just wanna give you, finish up giving you the tips um, and the competition rules for cover competition. So again, your one image, only submit one image for cover competition has to be submitted through the contestant hub on or before April 1st. It's fine if you submit as long uh, by 11.59 p.m. on April 1st as long as it's submitted for the second because right on the second, we start organizing and matching up with contestant numbers so we can send out to the reps to give them time to judge before getting to CMTC. And then judging will be based on cover potential and this competition is judged on a closed set, meaning only the reps will be looking at your photos. Okay, the reps that are judging. Alrighty, so some of our tips. So again, make sure your face can be seen in the photos. 
Um, I always recommend making eye contact with the camera. Um, the two main components that the reps will be looking at are your eyes and your mouth and what they are doing together and separately. Okay, so think of it that way. When you see your images or you take a couple different ones, make sure you're analyzing your eyes, your mouth, your expression, and then from there, your body language. Okay, and then I always recommend, as you've heard me say before in these live sessions, do keep it simple. So by that, I mean keep it simple with your wardrobe, keep it simple with your makeup, and you don't need to go too over the top for anything because again, you're showing your potential. And what's important for these reps is your photo movement and your expressions and how you come across on camera. They know what hair and makeup can do for you. And in the real modeling industry, they hire professional um, makeup artists and wardrobe stylists to ensure that the model looks the way that they want to look for whatever cover or commercial print work or um, how they want to look on set. Okay. Okay, Roxanne, she's just saying if um, she just can't remember if she's in commercial print or cover. And again, you could be in both depending on what you selected. Um, again, because they are sent to different reps, it is great a great idea if you're interested in modeling to enter yourself into both. But if you're not sure if, which competitions you're in, just send us an email and we'll make sure. Does the cover image have to be color or can it be black and white? Great question. It can be either or. So I actually just posted our female 16 to 19 winners and you'll see that there was someone who placed who pre presented a black and white photo and it's a gorgeous image. Okay, so again, keep it simple. The more complex things that you add to your photo, the more it can distract from you and your potential as a model and or commercial model lifestyle model. Okay, and again, the photo can be close up or full body. Um, we often recommend close up, again, just because it's less for you to worry about as far as your body movement is concerned, um, but you are definitely allowed and we have had people win who do, um, do a full body, so that's fine too. Great, Emma. How long should our singing performance be? Okay, so tomorrow, or not tomorrow, oh my goodness, next week is our um, singing competition live session. So we'll go over um, that next week. Uh, the rules are on our website, but for prelims and finals, there are um, two different sets of restrictions for the time. So just take a look at that, but we will go over that next week. Okay. Okay, so that concludes information about cover competition. Again, I just recently posted a couple of our divisions that won last year, or the people who placed in each division last year. There are a couple more divisions I still have to post. And then from there, I will also post the people who placed in commercial print in all those divisions last year. So you can kind of compare the different images and um, the difference between them both. Okay, and since we're starting commercial print, I will answer this question. Is wearing earrings in your commercial print photo okay? Absolutely, absolutely. So again, even, um, it again is about how you look in the photo as far as your eye contact, your mouth, um, your expression, and then for commercial print, it is usually selling a product or a service. So even if you're just wearing earrings and that's kind of, um, and then just a classic simple wardrobe, it could just even be for, so you're selling earrings for example or they're just an accessory. So that's absolutely fine as well. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get into some information about commercial print competition. So I just wanna give you some information on commercial print and hopefully this will clarify some of the difference between, the differences between cover and commercial print images. So commercial print is an opportunity for contestants to showcase their lifestyle and commercial modeling potential. So contestants are to submit a commercial print image um, that could maybe sell a product or a service, or again, represent a product or a service. And I'll get into that in just a second. Um, but these images are sent to reps that represent commercial models or lifestyle models that are attending CMTC and scouting at CMTC. So again, for cover commercial competition and commercial print competition, these images are being sent to different types of reps that are attending. So that's why it's important to um, definitely put yourself into both these competitions if you're really interested in modeling as many high fashion models cross over to commercial print and vice versa. 
okay? So um, again, only those who are registered for this competition um, will be sent to the judges for judging. So commercial models, well, kind of what is that if you're not sure the difference between commercial and high fashion? Um, commercial models are also known as real people models, and they appear in advertisements for goods and services. So they can model for television, commercials, websites, magazines, newspapers, billboards, any type of advertisement you see, we consider that commercial print modeling. Versus, again, high fashion where you're appearing on a cover, it's not necessarily that you're selling a product or a service, you might be wearing a top designer, um, but again, commercial modeling is more selling a product, service, um, even if you're on, say, Joe Fresh website, um, we do consider that, although it's for fashion, high um, fashion, it's still considered commercial modeling because they are selling a product, right? They're selling the clothes. So, um, so where was I there? So as a result, um, all ages, and sizes are sought after in this type of modeling. And um, again, because you're also wanting to be someone that a consumer identifies with. So what do I mean by that? Um, if I had a can of Coke, let's say, for example, um, everybody might be interested in buying Coca-Cola. So I wanna look like someone who's approachable. I wanna look like someone that they can identify with and say, oh, she's drinking a Coca-Cola. I might wanna drink a Coca-Cola too. And I'll also get into um, why I say that commercial modeling a lot of the times is a little more approachable because if you're selling a Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola doesn't necessarily want you to be frowning holding a Coca-Cola can or making a very serious face holding a Coca-Cola can because they want you to associate their product with something happy and exciting and something that you're enjoying doing. Okay, so that's why a lot of the time you'll see the commercial images, the ones that we share, um, the models are looking excited and happy about what they're doing. Um, could it be the same picture for both competitions? Um, again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that. Even if, again, you're just changing your expression, I would use the opportunity to submit two different images. Um, again, there is a bit of an overlap, especially for our kids who, um, even in higher fashion or cover often aren't frowning or looking um, very serious because that's not really um, kind of natural to a child. However, again, you will see there are some children who aren't necessarily smiling and their cover images were selected. So I just wouldn't submit the same image for both if you can avoid it. But again, there's no rules against doing that. Okay, so the rules for cover uh, sorry for commercial print competition. Um, this competition is open to all ages. Contestants must submit one photo showcasing their commercial print potential. The photo must be submitted through the commercial print form found on the contestant hub. Again, on or before April 1st, as long as you submit it by April 2nd, so 11.59 on April 1st, um, your photo will be fine and we will make sure that it is submitted. Again, our team will make sure that you're in commercial print competition. Um, before sending to the judges. Okay, the photo may be in color or black and white and judging will be based on commercial print potential. So, and then also the judging takes place in a closed set. So what I mean by that is only the judges will see these photos and um, judge the competition. Okay, so our tips for the this competition for commercial print competition is again ensure that your face can be seen in the photo make sure you're making eye contact with the camera again that's a tip it's not necessarily something you need to do um, for program book photos i definitely said make eye contact with the camera so they can see your face however there are commercial print images where you might have your head turned a little bit you might not be necessarily making eye contact with the camera for example, if you're selling shoes in your commercial print image, you might be looking down at your shoes, looking happy or excited. So again, it is about your expression. However, for um, new faces, it might be easier for you to concentrate on your face and your facial expressions um, for this competition. So that's why it's a tip from us, but not a necessity. Okay, so again, for commercial print competition, you want to make sure that you're focusing on your expression and you're thinking about what you're selling. So whether it be clothes, a hat, um, a blazer, a makeup product, 
Um, you want to think about the vibe of the, the product you're trying to sell and make sure that's coming across in your expression and your body language. So um, again, what might I mean by that? Do, do I need to have a prop? No. So there have been contestants who use props in their photos. That's absolutely fine um, for commercial print, but it's not necessary. So again, if you think about um, any billboards you might see or um, in commercials or commercial print images, so you might see in the newspaper or in a magazine selling a makeup product, the person's not necessarily holding the makeup product, but it's more focusing on, say, if it's lip gloss, like the, your lips. So you might be focusing on your lips in the commercial print image or your eye makeup. So again, you don't need to actually hold a product. It's just about what you're focusing on in the image. So if it was my blazer, I'd maybe hold it and show that I'm wearing a blazer and show that I'm trying to sell a product. I could be smiling. I don't necessarily need to. Um, but again, you're trying to give off the vibe of whatever service or product that you're working with or trying to sell. So you don't need a prop. Um, but you could have one if you want to. But again, you don't want to distract from yourself. So if you do want to have a prop, I would just make sure that it's kind of a smaller prop. Is it okay for if you use natural lighting for your cover photo? Absolutely. Natural lighting is always the best type of lighting. So I would definitely suggest using natural lighting if you can. If, you're, if you can't, just make sure that whatever room you're in or studio you're in is well lit. For these images, again, I would definitely recommend kind of like the program book photos or photography go see that you don't have too much going on behind you that is going to distract from you. Okay. However, you will see in our 4 to 7, 8 to 11 cover photos that I submitted that there is a little boy who's sitting outside and there are things around him, um, but his body language and his expression is so cute that you're focusing on him and you're not really focusing on what's behind him. So he placed the rep saw that was a great image. Okay, great question. Okay, so again, um, props aren't necessary because the more complex components you add, the more it distracts away from you and your potential. But for commercial print, we often do some have individuals who submit with a prop that are a little less distracting. In 2019, we had someone who had glasses on and she was just holding her glasses smiling and it was a great image and she um, placed in the competition. Okay, so think for cover, think high fashion, think again, you're not really selling a product per se, but you're selling your confidence, you're selling your vibe. Um, for commercial print, it's more you're selling a product or service for somebody else and you wanna match the vibe of whatever product or service you're selling. Great question. So the judges need to be able to clearly see what we are trying to sell. Like, should they be able to immediately tell which item of clothing we're trying to promote? I would say yes. So again, they aren't looking for any product um, per se in the image. So you won't be um, necessarily scored against or judged against if it's not completely clear. Um, for example, when you look at Zara online, let's say, um, the people in the clothing in the clothes are wearing a blazer and they're wearing a shirt and they're wearing pants um, but then in the title it says like white blazer let's say um, so that makes it a little more clear as the consumer what we're looking at but the, the model is fully dressed and has a di bunch of different pieces on um, but again maybe holding the piece of clothing that you're selling or if it's pants putting your hand in your pocket um, I've seen some great images of people looking down at the pants smiling. Um, again, it's not necessary. Most of the time, um, it is about the vibe of the photo. So they don't really, um, again, you won't be scored against not making it clear. Um, but if you're only wearing clothes and um, you're not holding a prop or something, most of the time, the reps will understand it's a commercial print image for wardrobe. And again, a lot of the time, because they're looking for new faces and they are there to scout, they're really paying attention to your face. But great question. I hope that answers it. What does placing mean in a competition? Is it top three or more and then one winner is chosen? So we do, for all of our competitions, we do top three. But again, CMTC is more about your individual performance, your individual exposure. So there are many people who don't place in any competitions, but at the end of the day, they still get callbacks and make connections with reps. So really, we do the placements 
um, for the award ceremony because we come together that Saturday night and we do recognize those who placed kind of top in their categories for each competition. But again, it doesn't necessarily mean those people are um, getting more callbacks than people who don't place. It is about the individual reps who are looking and scouting for their agencies and every year those reps come and they're thinking of something different that they are looking to fill their roster. Um, and it could be several people, it could be one person they're looking for to fill a spot on their roster. Um, it's it dependent on the rep. So really the, the placement in the competitions is just something that we do extra. And then the reason we post them per se um, is for the next year. Um, so our CMTC 2023 can learn from our CMTC 2022 attendees and kind of give them examples of um, what placed last year as far as um, so they can know what to kind of expect and what the reps expect or look for. That's a great question. Do you suggest to use different pictures for the photography go see versus commercial print and cover, or would you suggest using your cover and commercial print photos as your photography go see photos? Great question. So if you have more images that you want to show the reps, I would take the opportunity to show, I guess, four different images. So one for cover, one for commercial print, and then two for photography go see. If you're really happy with either your cover and your commercial print or both, then definitely use them for photography go see. If you think they show versatility um, in your portfolio per se, then I would definitely take the opportunity to show them. Again, for cover competition, a big difference here for our contestants to know is cover competition is sent for judging to our modeling reps. So those who work with um, kind of models or high fashion models, whether you're a child or an adult or a teen, and for commercial print, we're sending to those who work with lifestyle or commercial models. Um, again, if you're a child, an adult, or a teen. So, but for Photography Go See, all of the reps at CMTC, including our talent reps, are at that competition. So different reps will be seeing, um, there will be a bit of a crossover there, but different reps will be seeing your images. So it's okay if they um, are the same images. Again, we know we're working with new faces. We don't expect you to have tons of images to use. Um, so that's perfectly fine. I hope that answers your question. Okay, so again, um, for um, anyone who is looking for examples of cover photos or commercial print photos, we will be posting those who placed last year just for reference um, so you can see the difference as well as we have Pinterest board. So on Thursday, we will be sending again a big summary of this live session, showing you um, and giving you more information about each competition, summarizing what I've gone through tonight, as well as showing you those who placed. Um, so we have a collage going for both different competitions from last, those who placed last year. And we also have a Pinterest board up for both competitions. Um, we're using some images of contestants that have been submitted and then also just some real world examples of both cover images as well as commercial print images. So I do understand there's a bit of an overlap and it is a little bit confusing, um, the difference between the two. However, again, just think of commercial print, selling a product, selling a service, um, again, selling your clothing, whereas cover is more about the model, focusing on the model's face, the model's personal vibe and potential and more editorial. So they're not necessarily selling something, but they are, um, again, on a cover. If you see even an actress on the cover of something, they're not necessarily selling a product. It's more awareness for themselves, right? So they're just kind of um, working with a stylist and picking whatever works for them. And if they're smiling or not smiling, that's kind of up to them as well, right? Whereas commercial print, if I am selling um, Harvey's cheeseburger, they're probably not gonna want me to hold the burger um, or be next to their burger, whatever it may be, looking upset. So they want, they're gonna want to look at me and think I'm happy and associating their product with something happy. So that's why often you'll see a lot of commercial print images where they're either really expressive or they're showing um, a big smile, again, because that's the brand, what the brand wants to associate with their product or service. So that's the big difference there. And if you go on our Pinterest board, you will um, see 
kind of the two different examples and a lot of different examples with all different ages um, where you can look and kind of even honestly copy. Like if you see a model where you love their expression, that's how you learn, right? You can take a look at that and try to look in the mirror and then take a bunch of different photos where you feel like you're kind of um, nailing what you see and what you um, kind of want to look like as far as expression goes. Okay, so again, the big difference um, for cover, think high fashion. Uh, you're not necessarily selling a product, but the focus is on the model and the vibe they want to give off as an individual or for the magazine. The commercial print goal is to sell a product or service. Um, it should match the vibe of whatever product or service you're trying to sell. Um, and you again, you don't need a prop for this competition. It's not a requirement. But if you do want to have a prop, just make sure it's not too distracting um, from your face and your body language. Okay. Okay. I'm going to answer one question. I'm just going to finish up with my notes here. Um, and again, just for anyone who is more into that entertainer side, it is not a bad idea to enter this competition, again, for singers or dancers or our actors. Um, because often, especially for commercial print work, there are a lot of casting directors and clients who want, I say, a commercial print image where there's a dancer um, doing their thing on camera. So even for um, those who kind of are on more, more the entertainment side, it's not a bad idea to enter this competition to get the exposure for the lifestyle and um, commercial print uh, agencies, as they do love to work with dancers. Um, if you think of the Old Navy commercial that's running right now, um, they are a lot of dancers and those TV commercials then become print as well, where they're, the dancers are showing their clothes but dancing and doing live images of the dancing. Um, so again, if you're someone who has a skill set like that or an actor who can be really expressive in their um, facial movements, it's a great idea to kind of open yourself up to this as well. Okay, another question here. How do we get go to the in-person workshops? I saw them a bit earlier and wondering where we'd be able to learn more about that. Okay, so a lot of, um, we've had a couple questions about this. A lot of the import connection, okay, here I am. A lot of the images or videos you're seeing from those workshops are actually those who are already signed with what we call a mother, sorry, a mother agency. So um, that means um, you might have seen a model or Gemini doing workshops. So they often require um, their models or talent to do workshops with them so they can prepare for CMTC because they're going under that agency. So um, if you're an independent, which is someone who doesn't have a mother agent, do not stress. Most of the people who attend CMTC are in fact independents. Um, so again, not a lot of individuals necessarily have a mother agency that they're doing workshops with. So do not stress about that. Um, those are just, again, extra workshops um, through those agencies that are helping their models and talent prepare. Um, again, because they're going under that agency, so they want their models to be prepared since they are representing them in their agency. Okay, so those workshops are... Um, extra. They're not something that is necessarily even affiliated directly with CMTC, but we love that they are getting prepared because even if you're an individual and an independent, we want you to do everything you can to prepare for the opportunity to get in front of these national and international reps. Um, it is quite a lifetime opportunity to get in front of all of these people all in one place. So again, those agencies are just helping their models and talent prepare for CMTC because they're representing their agency and vice versa. So they want to make sure that their um, people are ready for it as well. Again, we have so many independents who do well in place. So do not stress out if you're someone who is not with a mother agency. Um, that's okay. Again, we go all over Canada searching for new faces and new models and talent. And quite a few of them and you don't have mother agencies or you're living somewhere where there's no mother agencies and that's absolutely fine as well. Okay. But again, um, if you see that we are posting about a mother agency that is in your city or near you, feel free to reach out to them as well, right? That's another resource. And um, we definitely um, promote those agencies because we love to work with them as well. So that's not a bad idea either because they're another resource for you. Okay, I think 
that answers everyone question, everyone's questions. I'll just wait another second to see if any other questions come through. Again, on Thursday, um, if you're just tuning in now, you will get a copy of this live session and you will get a summary, a written summary of everything we talked about, including examples. Um, we're gonna also share a live session we did with Tony Tilly a couple years ago. Um, and he's uh, works, worked in the commercial print side of things, so he'll give you some good tips about that. You can also check out our YouTube channel where we've interviewed high fashion agents as well. That can give you some infor more information about high fashion images, so cover images. Okay, and check out our Pinterest page, and I will keep posting uh, winners from 2022 for both cover and commercial print, so you can compare those different types of images. Okay. So next Tuesday, we will be discussing singing competition. So I look forward to that and I look forward to seeing you all then. And I really look forward to seeing you in May. It's coming quickly. I believe tomorrow is our start of our 10 week countdown. So again, make sure you're doing everything you can to prepare for CMTC. It will come quickly. And again, last week we reviewed that deadline. So check your emails and make sure that you're on top of everything on your end. And if you need any, any help, then just reach out to our team and we'll be there to help you. Hi, Isaac. I'm so excited too. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.